everyone, so today's video is going to be my October TBR. Now I know that I just posted my September TBR because I was really sick for like quite a while. I'm still honestly sick now, like I'm coughing still all the time. But I feel like I feel well enough at this point to try and film with two videos today. They will be short videos, like there's literally only like three books on my October TBR. Because again, I feel like I'm gonna be sick for like quite a while still. And I don't know how much energy I'm gonna have. And I do have like a trip planned potentially like in October. So I don't know if I'm gonna read a lot during that. And I will probably read like ebooks during that trip. So I don't know what my reading is gonna be like in October. But yeah, I'm just gonna talk about the books I wanna try and read in October. And let's just get into it because again, I still don't feel well. And I need to film another video after this. So. Yeah, let's just get into the books I want to read in October. So the first book I want to try and finish in October is Lonely Castle in the Mirror. I'm really sorry if you can hear my voice that I'm still sick again. I have tried to say this like sentence like 10 times now and I keep coughing. So yeah, really sorry about that. But yeah, I want to try and finish Lonely Castle in the Mirror. This is a reread. I've already read this book in like ebook form, but I wanted a physical copy because I really enjoyed the book so that I can like annotate it, which again, as you can see, I'm already doing. I have read almost the entirety of this book, except for like the last like 50 pages, which are the saddest of the entire book. And I wasn't looking forward to reading them again because I was like bawling my eyes out when I read it the first time. So yeah, gonna try and finish this in October, no matter how sad I get. So yeah, let's move on because again, my throat is really not doing well or rather my lungs, I guess, because I feel like at this point, I feel like I have like pneumonia or something, but yeah. Anyway, gonna pick up the next book. And next, I want to try and finish Murder in the Family. I actually started this book right before I got sick, and I read like a decent chunk of it in like two days, and I was not enjoying it. Like, it's not like one of the best books I've ever read before, but it was quite like, you know, captivating to read. Uh, but then I got sick, and so now I haven't picked it up in like three weeks, and I feel like I forgot... The entire plot so yeah let's try and like finish it in october i guess there is still like a week left to september but at this point i feel like i'm not gonna read like a book anymore in september i might read like a manga maybe but like a book i don't see it happening so yeah i feel like i'm starting to sound like more and more nasally as this video goes on but yeah anyway i'm gonna pick up the last book now or rather manga like I said, this TBR will be very short bulk because I'm still sick and because I don't know what I'm going to read in October because, again, I might be going on a trip. So, yeah. Then lastly, we have Haikyuu. I recently bought a couple more volumes of Haikyuu and so now I have about like five or six volumes that I can read. So, I'm probably going to read them because I was actually like on track again with my reading goal for the year and then I got sick and now I'm six books behind again. Like, I was literally on track. I was actually, I think, like, one book ahead of schedule. And then I got sick and it ruined everything. So, if I need, like, six books to read to get back on track with my reading goal, I guess Haikyuu is an option. But, yeah, this is the last book on this TBR. So, I'm going to just do the outro now and film another video and hopefully not, you know, ruin my voice even more, I guess. Sorry if it's really annoying to listen to, but, yeah. So like I said, that was the last book on this like October CBR. I did also want to put like a couple of ebooks on this list because again, I might be going on a trip and I usually only take like my e-reader with me when I go on trips because it's easier and lighter. Um, but I don't know what I want to read during that trip and I don't know if I'm even going on that trip. So yeah, I just put these three things on it and then just, you know, left it for what it is. Again, very short video, but like I said, I'm still sick. You can probably hear it in my voice. But yeah, I'm gonna try and film another video now. Hopefully that doesn't go too bad, I guess. So yeah, thank you for watching. Sorry again for how sick I am and for how awful I probably look. So yeah, thank you for watching and bye.